Okay, in that lecture, we can also talk about the feature-based modeling. We can create our mold by using the Visual Studio. Of course, in that lecture, I try to create some parameters to create my mold. So that's my main parameters and cylinder length or cylinder radius. After that, of course, center pin radius, pin diameter, pin length, and screw diameter or something like that. After deciding that parameters, I just need to push that button to create my solid model. That's my solid model. I just need to run that parameters to create it. So that's it. I created my solid model and saved as a STR file. So that's it. After that, of course, I can easily change my parameters. Maybe my parameters can be like this. I just need to save that. After that, I just need to push that button to run my C code. It's ready right now. Okay, after that, of course, I just need to regenerate it and create different model. Okay. After that creation, I can turn back to Mastercam. That's my Mastercam file. I create it easily. Okay. I can explode my toolpad. So I can and open my SDR file or creating that curve. After that, I just need to uh, use right mouse button, import toolpad and come to do my mold toolpad section. Just push that button. Okay, after that, I can select my geometry. That's my face toolpad geometry. That's my contour toolpad geometry. That's my pocket geometry. That's my another pocket geometry. Okay, this is my model. This is my boundary. Okay. This is my model. And this is my geometry. This is my model. This is my, oops, sorry, geometry. This is my another geometry. So that's it. I just need to recalculate it. So I created my new mold and I created my new toolpad easily. Okay. If you change, if you intend to change your model or turn back to Visual Studio and create new model, after that, turn back to Mastercam and create your line and export, uh, you can import your exported toolpad. After that, you can just generate it, select your new surface, drive surface and chain. After that, push the G1 button to get your post. Okay, it's easy. I create that video for technical school. Okay, we are created some Mastercam course, or uh, so you can visit our website and Udemy course, so something like that. Okay, if you are supporting us, we can be able to create new video for you. Thank you very much. Okay, before that, I also want to show you some and how can I change my 
parameters. For example, I can make that parameters 50 and make that parameters 30. You just need to save that file. I just push the run button and I can easily be able to create my new model according to that variables. That's it. After that, of course, I can turn back to master cam file and save that str file and export my toolpad and import it. Maybe I can just select my imported toolpad like this. I can do that mold again and again easily. 